The vision of a Super Rugby winning team has been three years in the making and Johan Ackermann has been the master tactician that has seen the Lions rise to glory and there's so much more to come. Coach, thank you very much for speaking to us here on Game On. It's um, such a special time to be here sitting at the Emirates Airline Park. Um, it seems to, the excitement to the semi-final seems to be building. Yeah, no, thanks. Thanks for the opportunity. It's really an honour and pleasure, you know, to to be here. And, you know, I'm very proud of the guys. And as you mentioned, you know, the, the whole build-up is getting closer and closer. Um, I'm, I'm not feeling all too much uh, pressure now, but I think from tomorrow and then obviously Saturday morning, the excitement will build up and hopefully the, the players will enjoy the moment. At the beginning of the season, would you have thought that you'd be in this position? Sure. No, you know, we, we didn't want to put any goals out there we our goal was to play well week by week and you know we had a certain process we said we're not going to get carried away and um, put pressure on us and say this game is a must win so and we stuck to that so yeah so if you would have said to me semi-finals at home I would have probably taken it so yeah very very humbled by that Coach, this didn't happen overnight. You had a plan over three years what you wanted to achieve with this team. We spoke to Lionel Marpu last week and he said you told the team that we need to stay together and we all need to pull through the difficult times to see success. And now you're seeing it. Yeah, again, you know, it's a, it was not just a one-man show. It, it, it's a, a, a lot of factors that came together. And first of all, you know, 2014 back in Super Rappi and a new group and new players, some players that went through the 2013 promotion relegation. And then a new coach in Swayze de Brainer joined us, uh, JP Ferreira, new defensive coach, uh, Ivan Faroy, and you know, he was um, first time co head conditioner of, of, a, of the Super Rappi side, and myself, first time a head coach of a Super Rappi team. Um, and for a lot of players, first time Super Rappi, and it was a process to build it up, you know, and there was a lot of uh, hard work that went in from the players, from the management, and also from people behind the scenes, you know, administration block, the people who, who manage our facilities, everybody. So, you know, sponsors slowly but surely came back to the Lions and it was just a whole uh, a, a process. There was mental coaches, uh, Peter mm. Krier was involved then and now we've got Janni Pitter. And, you know, in the last year, a lot of grace from, from the Lord, you know, that got us where we are and, uh, you know, and our family's support, you know, so it was a, a process. But most of all, like you said, the player group stuck together. Mm. And I think that's a secret. All the successful teams, if you look at the Crusaders when they w dominated Super Rugby, the Bulls when they won the, the trophies, the, the you go to international sides, the England, um, South Africa sides. That for that four years they were quite similar from the year one till the team that played in the World Cup finals. Coach, something that has been so exciting to watch is how um, the Lions have evolved as a team, especially the game on the field. Um, probably the most attractive style of rugby being played in South Africa at the moment. What was your thinking behind that, teaching them to play that way? Yeah, thanks for that. You know, um, it was a, also a combination of factors. Myself, um, you know, felt as, uh, as, as the head coach that, you know, we want to express ourselves on the field. And then, like I said, uh, no, no, not by incident, uh, Swayze came and Swayze is, uh, as the attacking uh, side of him, looking after the attack and the, and the backs. He's a guy that always, you know, wants to uh, play an attractive brand of rugby. And then quite interesting, as a player group, we sat down and we, we looked at, you know, 2014 as a, as, as a, as a, as a newborn season. Yes. And the players didn't, we'd, like I've mentioned this year even, we didn't set targets mm. of we want to become uh, in a playoff team or whatever. We, the players had only two goals. The one was they wanted to play an exciting, attractive brand mm. to make the supporters proud. And two, you know, thank uh, the blessing that we've, we're healthy. And they stuck to that uh, goals, you know, and, and they want to express themselves on the field. Coach, every time that you speak at a press conference that I've been at, listening to you, um, speaking to your players on the field, you speak with such passion, with such hunger, and it's rubbed off to every single player on the field. Do you think that's the secret to success? Yeah, you must have that passion, you know. You must have that hunger uh, for each other, that care for each other. Um, I always said, you know, if, if you don't care about the player next to you or you um, don't care about the jersey that you wear, then why do you play, you know? Surely um, you have to have that uh, passion for what you do. I mean, nobody will become a doctor if he's not passionate about working with people and, and caring people. Okay. And, and that's the same for us. You can't play the game if you don't love the game. 
I certainly see it every time that you guys play. There's certainly a lot of expectation, a lot of pressure on the team. But uh, as you said earlier, you're feeling quite calm and the team's quite calm. That's surprising. Yeah, I think we try to keep it simple. Um, it starts with the with the with the Monday routine and the whole week routine, and the uh, 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 the, the players can feel it. You know, players is like your children. You know, they they can feel when you tense. They can feel when you want to add more and more and more, um, do more because you you know why? Because it's just a, another 80 minute rugby game. You know, so we try to keep everything simple. And and like I said, it, the players responded well. They. All, all was calm. Nobody is really, you know, talking about what how big this game is for us, and and that's why I say, you know, it's a it's an 80 minute game that we must just go out and still enjoy. Coach is winning an addiction. Does it make you want to go all the way? It, yeah, it's a it's a dangerous ground because you know, where when is one satisfied? You know, um, if if I say. Uh, in January, get playoffs. Everybody will be happy. Now we're so close to get into a final. Now, ever, will people be satisfied if we don't get over the hurdle? Um, what winning? Well, winning is is definitely a confidence booster, and it brings a lot of self belief. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's also a dangerous ground. It can it can bring overconfidence, and it can be uh, you know, an arrogance, and, and we don't want that. Coach, having seen that so many Lions players are in the national setup, many saying that all Lions players should be in the national setup. But, you know, I think Lions are certainly pushing national rugby to another level. Yeah, thanks. For, you know, we can just do our part, you know, and, and, and prepare the players as well as we can. It's still up to the player to perform on the field. And so credit must go to the players, you know. And then, obviously, um, it's all about there's a lot of factors at Springbok Rappi. Yes. It's about experience, about combinations. You, you won't, you'll never know when a player can play unless he plays. So when do you give him that opportunity? Um, I'm not in control of that. The, the main thing for me is, you know, we we want to prepare our players uh, for for this stage. And and then, like I said, if they grab the opportunity and they get it higher, it's great for us. Coach, uh, because now it's at this stage, semi-final stage, there'll be lots of people from New Zealand saying things about the Lions, saying things about the South African team, trying to get to us mentally. I know there was an article written, written by Laurie uh, Maines, of course, about quotas and transformation and things like that. Uh, what did, I don't know if you managed to get to see it. And what do you make of that? Yeah, you know, everybody will have uh, their opinion on, on South African rugby. I do believe any any country will go through through up and downs on performance. Um, you know, we're, we're in a unique country and uh, I don't believe, you know, that we've got the quality regardless. It doesn't matter about colour, we've got the quality to play, we've got enough numbers to play, we, we can just enlarge our pool by developing even more players at all levels, at all uh, 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 race, we can just grow a pool. That's why countries come and scout our players and they come look at our, our Craven Week uh, sites. Um, yeah, so you know, my, my belief is we can put out a, a strong Springbok site and doesn't matter what, what players uh, are running on. Coach, the Lions are probably the most transformed team in South Africa. Has there been thought put into that or has it just happened ordinarily? No, we, we back our players, you know, and we choose our players at ma on merit and, and therefore, you know, uh, I want the team spirit. That's the most important thing for me and I care for every player and, and uh, again, you know, as a, as, a, as a collective, as a group, we are happy and we support each other and we support our country here. Warren has been an absolute um, key on the field and I suppose on the sidelines during injury and uh, we were watching him at training while the lineouts were so you were practicing the lineouts. You were standing on the side, uh, giving advice, just being there for his team. Will he do that as well on Saturday? Yeah, you know, um, Warren will always be part of the team, uh, just as any other player. And, and I've got, you know, open door in the fact if, if if he wants to give advice to some of the players as well as, you know, we've got a guy like Ru Andrea who's a, who's out for the season, but he can contribute yeah. what he sees off the field. And, and to the props, and uh, that's my expectation. But some players are, are respond different. Mm -hmm. Some players want to get involved, but other players feel they they don't want to add pressure to the team by because they're not in the in the in the fight. Um, but Warren, you know, as a leader, we'll we'll sit down with a plan. Maybe we'll use him for Saturday's game next to the field, or maybe we'll use him up in the stands with us as coaches. Coach, what would a final, what would a Super Rugby title mean for you? and for this team and for the fans of the Lions? 
Yeah, it, it's almost, you know, we, you, they always say you have to dream big, you know, and, and like I said, we, we, we didn't dream about, about that final yet, but it is close, so realistically we've got a chance if we, if we perform well. I think it will be, you know, personally it will be, again, something that one can treasure um, looking at where we were and where we are going, um, but um, I think it will be, you know, awesome for Joburg and for and for South Africa and also for the Lions if we can do get that uh, opportunity. But it, there's still a lot of work starting this week and then obviously, um, you know, whoever is in the final. But um, yeah, it's a privilege and, you know, and a really honour um, and a humble experience to, to be in the situation. Um, uh, and you know there was a lot of ups and downs and, and that, that's why it makes it so special. So hopefully the, there will be a lot of people coming out and enjoy this moment with us. Coach, uh, uh, while we were waiting for you guys to come uh, after your gym session, I was standing at the ticket office and there were fans just coming through um, to buy their tickets. But also they were high-fiving each other, they were wishing each other good luck for the match on Saturday. That's the Lions that we know and love. It's so exciting to be at this point again. Yeah, it's awesome, you know, like I said, I think it's going to be a, a carnival and a great atmosphere on the weekend and hopefully an intimidating one as well for, for, the, for the visiting side. But, um, yeah, you know, I think it will actually sink in on, on Saturday, uh, you know, what, what how big uh, the opportunity is for us. But um, for me, you know, like I said, you know, it's just to, to stay calm at this stage and, and enjoy the moment. And uh, it's a, like I said, I can't express it enough, you know, thanks to the supporters. Thanks for being so excited to, and supporting us and to come. And, and we as, as, as a coaches and also as players will, you know, put our utmost our best there and hopefully it's good enough. Just lastly, coach, um, obviously the job is not done for the season, um, but what is your vision for the Lions? Where do you want to take this team? Well, the challenge for us is to stay together. You know, obviously our players with performance come demand. Um, so if we can keep the player group together, uh, hopefully we can we can take a lot out of this season and and be there next year again. Um, so yeah, so for this, uh, for, so the vision is still to be a competitive side. You know, that was always one of uh, my. Uh, believes that you know to get the Lions competitive uh, and, and you know you can't be in the playoffs one year and then suddenly next year you know you, you almost roll over so yeah so f for now just you know to stay consistent in our performance um, and to enjoy the moment and to enjoy you know every year um, it's a new challenge and every year is a new player group and you have to um, you know still work hard so th th that small little things won't change yeah, and you know uh, obviously, you know, want to thank our families and friends and everybody who supported us uh, through this uh, build up and through this uh, time. Coach, thank you very much for speaking to us on the show. Um, let me congratulate you for this weekend because uh, we have faith that you'll be able to do it. And thank you for bringing the love back to rugby. It's very, very, very exciting to watch. Thanks very much. It's a privilege to speak to you guys.